SMH Group Stadium for this afternoon's Van Arama National League game. It's Chesterfield, the league leaders, versus 23rd place to Absolute United. Chesterfield know that with uh, their closest rivals, Bromley and Barnet, both in FA Trophy action today, a win this afternoon will take Chesterfield a colossal 25 points clear at the top of the table. Equally, Absolute United know that a win here today will take them out of the bottom four, potentially, depending on other results. And away we go at the start of this first half then. Chesterfield versus Absolute United. Armando Dobra, Grigg is wide on the left-hand side, but uh, a good challenge going in there. Dispossessing Dobra and a chance now for Rakesh Bingham, the number nine. Taking on Williams, still Bingham. Because the shot in hook, Rakesh Bingham has scored. 44 seconds into the game, and Absolute United have taken the lead. The ball played across the field to Rakesh Bingham, who took on Tyrone Williams. And he got round Williams and fired into the bottom corner past Harry Tyra. It's an early shot for the Spyrites. Rakesh Bingham in the first minute of the game. It's Chesterfield nil, Absolute United one. It's a good ball throw and a chance here for Edson now. If he can get past Grimes, he's got Bingham there as well. It's still Toby Edson. Uh, out of play for the goal kick. Jacobs, Will Grigg. Grigg with the shot. And couldn't make the save. Will Grigg with the finally Chesterfield get a shot on goal. Rakesh Bingham again. Sterling James in for Polian and Dominic Polian's chance. Harry Tyler made the dive. It's going to be a goal kick. The goalkeeper didn't touch it. Jacobs back to Old Acre. Another opportunity now for Chesterfield. The ball is played in to that near post. Vanderbilt. Jeff King once more. The opening seems to have gone for a moment. Well, that's a great ball from Jacobs. Mandeville is deflected. And he's in the back of the net from Will Grigg. Will Grigg puts it over the line. There's Jacobs playing the ball in. Mandeville with the shot. And it was deflected. There's no doubt about that. Deeper for it, Will Grigg, who now makes the run forward, dragging the defender with him. Mandeville, that's a great ball out to King. Jeff King now. Grigg wanting it inside the box. Jeff King gets past two opponents. It's still Jeff King. King with the shot. Great save. And bring the back of the net from Dobra. Amando Dobra puts the Spyrites in front in the 34th minute of the game. The hard work, though, was all done by Jeff King. King beat two, two defenders. Made room for the shot. Hit it with his left foot. Great football from Jeff King. But when the ball bounced up, I think off the goalkeeper, it was Amando Dobra that banged it home. And Chesterfield have a 2-1 lead now. Given away to Jacobs. Great chance here. Will Grigg took his time. Grigg again. And Cuddens did really well. Mark Cuddens did really, really well there. Dobra. Over the defensive line, but uh, played back by O'Neill, and the lineman flag's gone up anyway on this near side. But the referee, Stephen Morland, blows, Stuart Morland blows the half time whistle here at the SMH Group Stadium. And despite a very early setback, the Sparrows go in with a half time lead. And number 11. So two changes made by. Uh, Absolute manager Danny Sill, and away we go at the start of this second half. McQueen, the substitute. Played into Franklin Domi, the other substitute that uh, was made at half time. Edsa plays it back to right. Josh Wright, the captain, plays it short again. And now Domi. Franklin Domi, chance there to shoot. He didn't really take it. Laid off by Edsa. Chapman with the ball in. And Ben Chapman has equalised for Epsley United. 
not quite as quickly as in the first half but absolutely have scored again early on in the half 49 minutes on the clock and Ben Chapman has got absolute equaliser Chapman giving away a chance now for Jesseville Mandeville on the edge of the penalty area appeals for a penalty again the referee says no and Ipswich have got away with it Domi plays the ball out to that far side of the field it's Bingham played into Edsa Solby Edsa McQueen laid off a Chapman the scorer of that equalising goal Ben Chapman puts the cross in and Tyra comes out to make that save it's time but it's too long for Morton not a great cross Williams oh Polly and got the better uh, the Bingham rather got the better of that Rakish Bingham now for Dominic Polly and there's a great chance here for Epsley to take the lead and Polly oh well done Jamie Grimes Polly and lifted it over Harry Sider headed him on the edge of the area Kenlock got, gets goal side of him the ball played to Jacobs Michael Jacobs shots deflected and it lands in the end in the hands of uh, Mark Cousins the absolute goalkeeper and the ever menacing Will Grigg ready to make his run Mandeville with the ball in Grimes won the header it drops to Naylor Naylor couldn't find room for Turk to turn and shoot and when he did it was blocked Oldacre comes out to Jacobs Michael Jacobs with the cross into the six yard box and Tyrone Williams puts it over the crossbar Chapman Chapman gets past Grimes Ben Chapman McQueen Darren McQueen with a great chance here the shot from McQueen saved by Tyra Berry Ollie Banks Banks to drive one and straight down the throat of the goalkeeper Mark Cousins that won't get a card Berry this game is very open now James Berry running at the absolute defence Berry with a chance and Berry's shot was on target Banks looks for King out on that far side that's a great ball for Jeff King Mandeville with his back to goal King Spinach needing to find some sort of an incision into this absolute defence Mandeville stays strong Mandeville shot off the crossbar from Liam Mandeville is that the opportunity that would have won in the game? And now Wright, absolutely striding forward again here. There could be another shock on here as Wright plays it out wide. Josh Wright, the absolute captain, appealing for a free kick there, but not getting it. And the referee, Stuart Morland, blows the final whistle here at the SMH Group Stadium. It's ended all square, and Epsley United are only the second team in the National League to take away a point from Chesterfield this season.